Hello and welcome back to my videos. In this video, we want to speak about the bootstrap view and how you can use the form input fields. And uh, form input fields is, can be used in a different way and select different um, types like date, text, password, numeric, and something like that. And of course, we can uh, validate and uh, about this, uh, everything is fine. And, and that's what we're going to do today. Thank you to have you here. And uh, I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can press on the thing below in the right corner. And uh, if you have any questions, please make them in the comments fields below. And remember, all the code can be found in the description with the link to my uh, GitHub profile and the repository for this video. Thank you so much. And I really appreciate you to have you here. So let's start coding. The first we want to create will be a basic uh, B form input. So you can see how it's working, and then we say we model input uh, input one, and uh, then we need a placeholder here to say enter your name, like the last video if you have seen that, and uh, then we say code, whoops, code, and uh, we say input uh, input one. And then we're going down to the data and let's go back for this one. So this is uh, how it's working. You can say hello world. This is my name. And uh, then you basically have working with the input, but that's the easy part. Now we're gonna do uh, our other one. I'll show you all the all the types in the, when we put it inside a for loop and uh, you will uh, you will basically use this before we are going for the, uh, the validation process so let's list out all the the, the types here and uh, to do that I need input 2 and uh, I'm going to say fields Text um, number email password search you will tell date time range and color. That's the files we want and I'll say types should be the same here. So what we're gonna do is just copy this Then we are here. So let's go back up here and at the fields. We uh, I will use the B row for this, and I'll use the my one. I will not use the class for that, but I'll use the B before it's uh, fields. No. Type in input to dot types and then key should be type. Inside that we can say B column SM is equal to three and then we can go inside and say label. Mm. 
is this one. Type. Type. And this one. Then we say type is equal to type. And the model is equal to input to fields type. And what we're going to do is go down here and say input to fields and then we want the type. Let's go back to, uh, to the browser here and see what happened. Okay, it doesn't do anything, so I think we have a little bit of mistake here. Um, yes. Nine and then. That's the yeah. I have a mix of two types here, so and then Then we say this is a B input. I just need to be sure it's correct down here, and I think that's the mistake we're gonna fix. Yes. So what we're gonna do here? This is text. This is a number, so I can't type text. This is, doesn't work. So I can say this one. And then I have an email. It's a. Uh, this is the mail. So it's valid data about it's a mail or not. This is the password. You can see the password. And this is the search. And you have that little cross over here. So you can say this the search is it's not working anymore. So we can search something new. Then we have a jewel. You can say http uh, google.com. And the telephone number should be like one to three, one to three, and then you can do something with that. This is the the date format, so we can say this one, and we have the date. This is the time, so I can say twenty three. Yeah, we can just say the. This is not the. Yes, yeah, it's only the twelve hour, so I can say this one, and we can say a.m. p.m. Depends on what we select here, it depends on what it's showing. And then we can have the, the range input field, and then we have the color. I can pick a color here, and then we have the hex code for it. So that's the fields you can work with with the, with the bootstrap view and the input uh, form. And I think the next step we, we're gonna do now is uh, trying to validate something from a single input field. So we will we we'll create something below down here. So let's go back for data again. So now when we need to create the, the state, I will just copy this one. I'm going down here and say HR and say this is the input tree. And then we are ready to use this. And we go down below here. And uh, we need a state function input tree name state and that the state and we just put it inside here. And of course, if we only have this by our input field, then it will be a little bit messier because it's not to do anything so nice. So what I want to do now 
it's a uh, credit inside in the B form group and I'll move it up here and then we have a state and the model we just move this no that's not correct sorry we don't need the form group I just need um, I do check here and call it row form group just to define what we have done here it's still correct and uh, what we want to do is say b form uh, invalid feedback and we need to b form valid feedback that's what we're going to do now and the field here it's uh, having a little uh, settings here so I'll show you how it's working and um, we want to say ID it's uh, input tree and uh, then we, we want to say this one the third bar input live input tree help input tree feedback that's what we want let's call it the uh, valid and in valid so it's I think that's better than that and we trim it again and I'm going down here to to the feedback so I'll say ID it's invalid I just take this and we take this if it's valid and here we're gonna say enter at least three letters and then we're gonna say your succeeds and then I'm basically just going down for the name states here and say return this name length is greater than two then return that and that's wrong because it's input tree so it's not a name this one and I think that's that's what we're gonna do now so yes that's working I'll just remove this so we can say now you can see it's working and that's how it's working so I really hope you appreciate this video and I'm really happy to have you here today so remember all the code is on my github and the link will be in the description of course and uh, I really hope you want to subscribe here on YouTube and you're very welcome to follow me on github uh, and if you have some questions please make the comments below I will be happy to answer you and uh, I hope you want to like and share this video with your friends so our friends can know how you can work with the bootstrap view thank you so much and hope to see you next time bye